Peter. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Wonderful. I'm very good as well. Thank you very much for joining us. So this no is problem. one of our interviews in a series uh, highlighting women initiators uh, in the arts and culture within our region, New England Northwest, as part of Music Region New England Northwest. So we were very happy that you were able to meet with us today and chat to us about yeah, your cool. adventures. So you started quite a while ago uh, with the concept of Opera in the Paddock, which sort of grew to be this amazing uh, concert yeah. series in the New England Northwest. Yeah. Can you tell yeah. us perhaps a little bit about that to start with? Yeah. Um, uh, do you want me to go back to where I from when Sure. Come? Sure. Well, just briefly, <laughs> I grew up in Brisbane, trained as a pianist, so mm -hmm. studied at the, at the University of Queensland as a principal study pianist mm -hmm. and with Pamela Page, who was wonderful. Oh, she's great. And, and then I had to pick a second subject, so I decided that I liked sing, sit, singing. And Margaret Nixon was my teacher. Um, she's now deceased, but she was a mad Irish lady, taught Lisa Gustine and a number of prominent singers. So I became more of a singer, and then I won a scholarship to go to London to Henry Over Smith Travel College Scholarship, and then I got married just to a farmer just before we left, and then um, we were there for three years, which is great. Mm -hmm. In fact, 2019, I caught up with through Facebook um, colleagues. So I went through the opera school with so I was there. invaluable stuff, mm -hmm. and then came back to Sydney and auditioned well I auditioned in London first and then um and came back and worked first years chorus and understudies with the opera, opera Australia and then um principal roles so meanwhile we'd put on taken the lease on the property mm -hmm. and so we sort of straddled two two realms I guess which yeah. is not easy with two little children no so um International Women's Day, it's very difficult to balance, um, I think, this. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And that's what we want to talk to women about, um, because there are some amazing yes. women in regional areas, and it's about putting the spotlight on regional women and regional yes. arts and right. yes. the activity that's happening in New England Northwest, because it's always been a very fruitful area for arts and culture. Yes, yes. Um, and to increase the recognition of the professionalism here of artists, mm. uh, but to mm. also highlight, of course, um, the challenges uh, that uh, is involved with being a woman uh, in the arts. And just as you were saying, um, I can't imagine that that would have been quite... Um, yeah, yes, quite just, organizing to do between sort of the opera world and running yes, um, a function. Yes, and touring to Melbourne and I went to Hong yeah. Kong, New Zealand, and um, and also children get colds. Yeah. <laughs> and so my daughter in latter years <coughs> said that she was sent to her room to die when she got a cold. <laughs> so I'd check in, are you okay? But you invariably got the cold. So fast forwarding, um, you know, I was offered some work at Sydney Con, which I didn't take because um, we wanted to, oh, well, for various reasons. Mm. So that was a, a, a pull for me to go back to Sydney. Yeah. But um, we stayed as farmers and then we started off in the paddock. Yeah. So I'd go out there and sing just out the door there. And there's a permanent fixture as a stage. Mm -hmm. And I'd say to my husband, this is fantastic, this acoustic. So we started with to actually there's no website at the moment they've got fished or whatever that is so, oh okay uh, you know um which is a shame because there's a whole lot of record there mm -hmm. and so it was two singers myself and baby hamilton tenor and a flautist and a pianist david miller mm -hmm. so with an upright piano mm -hmm. and we had we didn't know what 650 looked like but we thought we'd better cut it off there <laughs> 650 doesn't look at all much mm -hmm. and then we grew from there to yeah. three singers and and you know clarinet and so tried to uh, vary it artistically you see I wanted to grow it all the time so the stage got a bit bigger <laughs> each year <laughs> very nice husband I've got who does very technically um, able to do all this stuff you see yeah. so we um, I think the 10th year was I can't remember we did 14 years in all um, we had one uh, terrible terrible um, where the right on six o'clock was a thousand people in the paddock and had to cancel. But 
Ah, uh, you know, this is outdoor stuff. Yeah. Hmm? So, and then also we then we also promoted concerts as well as part of Opera Northwest. Mm -hmm. That was the the non profit deductible gift charity organisation. Mm -hmm. It's been, I mean, last year was, of course, nothing. Um, but I might get my sturma stumps again, you know, not to do an opera in the paddock. But, um, and the children have gone now. They've all gone to Sydney. You know? Yeah. <laughs> you bring them up in the, in the country. But um, yeah. so that's about it. I still sing. I've got a concert in a couple of, well, first of May. Yeah. Uh, with Lily Chen, whom you know, and Keiko Robertson again. She's a Japanese pianist who lives in in Burrell, as you do. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Great, wonderful. Yeah, yeah. So that's you know that's mm, and I love I actually like living in the country. Yeah. I've just yeah. returned from Sydney, as I said yesterday. Mm. I think I don't know that I can do this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and yeah. could you um, tell us perhaps a little bit about obviously International Women's Day? Uh, what has mm. the attitude towards women been in your career experience? Um, have you seen any mm. changes over the years? Well, I tell you what, when I auditioned for the, the chorus, um, the management said, oh, we'd like you to replace a lady who's having a baby. And I just found out I was pregnant. So instead of shutting my mouth, yeah. I said, oh, hmm, da -da -da -da, I'm pregnant, etc." And then when it came to, to join again, they were thinking about the idea of job sharing. Oh. That was back in the 80s. So wow. just thinking about it, you know, it wasn't something that people did. So we have come a little way there, mm. I think. Um, you know, it's a very tough profession, of course, as you know, it's yeah. it's really difficult. Um, international, oh, woman, I just expect to do it all. Yeah. But it's hard. It is hard to balance family and... Mm. Mm. So you've been um, in the Inverell area for how long now? Quite a while. Probably 30 years, you oh, know, okay. on and off. So the property's been in my husband's family for 115 years. Wow. So that's a long time. Yeah. It's a long time. And I do love, I love the garden. And I've been doing, in COVID, I did a lot more piano. And um, yeah. so that was good fun. Yeah. yeah. So you've just come back from... That's it, Germany. yes. I've, yeah. I've come back from Germany to assist with my mum and then COVID sort of brought everything yes. forward. Yes. I was hoping to do blocks between Europe and Australia. That all stopped in mm. 2020 of with, with COVID. Of course it did, yes. But I yes. made the right choice because Germany's oh. in lockdown at the moment. It would have yes. been a bit disastrous, I think, being there. But yes, um, would have been. now so I've been busy anyway, so it worked out as sort That's of... That's great. Result. And you've started Yes. Yeah. So we've got to meet. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I've met lots of people and um, lots of new projects happening. Um, it's wonderful. It's sort of uh, really busy. Yes. I think um, I was, um, oh, I did have elderly parents who mm. came down from Brisbane and that was, you know, again, you know, you've got a lot of responsibility there. However, um, what I did try to do, what we tried to do with it for Northwest is employ as many locally based, yeah. regionally based. Yeah. based musicians as possible yeah. and singers like Ruth Strutt. Um, Lexi Hutton was very lucky to get a private philanthropy money to go overseas. She's now in Berlin, mm -hmm. locked down. But um, that was because I believe very strongly, this is me, the politician, uh, that if we want people to come to the country and this is very topical at the moment yeah we have to have these facilities yeah absolutely to to keep them here yeah i mean obviously yeah and i agree with you that that regions need to employ regional people this was the whole reason behind yes it, as long as the standard is right yes yes it's got it's to be of the standard yes it's not compromising yeah. on standard but not compromised no, but it keeps them yes. um here. developing yeah. you know and look it was fantastic for me really it was a lot of work and lots of headaches but yeah. uh, we had destination new south wales and um sometimes arts grants and you know i expanded expanded my knowledge because i had to get scores from here there and everywhere opera yeah. australia was great helps me there and sort all the scores send out all the 
design the program. So the singers have to be happy. And I tried to do as much together as we could. So yeah. it was a good project, really. Yeah, and I thought it was fantastic that the orchestra you put together were basically majority of regional musicians. I thought that was yeah. great. So really, yeah. this Brisbane, exchange... supplement by... Yeah. Sorry? Sorry, no, this exchange between metropolitan and regional. So this is Absolutely. also what we're about with Music Region. You were I think this. that's fantastic because... Yeah, but there's a parity... A parity of representation. A parity, yes, yeah. absolutely. We've got to meet because, um, <laughs> yeah, I suppose after 14 years, you know, I'm, it would have been, the opera probably would have been this weekend. Yeah. We'd have been, you know, really busy and worried about the weather and everything. <laughs> the weather's <laughs> been so unpredictable, hasn't it? Not it has. Year, I think the weather this year and a bit last year was so unpredictable, so it's quite difficult to organise things outdoors. At the it moment, is. Though. Outdoors is very difficult. Yeah. But we've done a, probably 30, 35 concerts mm -hmm. in various venues, mainly around the regions. And yeah. yeah, fantastic. And so it keeps things alive. Yeah, absolutely. And can you tell us, you've been here quite a long time, tell us a little bit about uh, regional arts and how you think that has changed over the last 30 years? Um, I'd like to paint a positive picture, but I don't think I can. I think Inverell's different, say, to Armadale and Tamworth. They're very different yeah. Yeah. Um, places and people living in them. Yeah. I think I, I'm a bit pessimistic about teach a bit of the high school. Um, this would be different in Armadale, of course, with yeah. children yeah. learning instruments. But with I'm on the committee of the Music Centre here, we desperately need teachers yeah. of instruments. Yeah. And that... Until we get that, till children hear these things, yes. they're just on their phones listening to yes. bloody pop stuff, which is fine. <laughs> yeah. And what? Hey ho, like. Hey ho, you know, the, the world's um, music stopped two years ago. Yeah, yeah. So that is a bit depressing. Yeah. Anyway, let's talk about something positive. <laughs> um, what do you think are some of the advantages of being based in a regional area? Oh, other than the space and, you know, the space is great. I love, I love the space. I'd find it very hard to, to go back to suburban, suburbia. Um, yeah, I mean, you've got to keep travelling if you want to go co to do a coaching or something. If you're working on a repertoire, working on a programme, you've got to be able to keep that going. So that requires a lot of, I think I've worn out many cars and you've got to get your licence. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming. It's coming. It's yeah. coming. Right. I think, I think that's one of the major differences coming back to Australia, the geographical distances. <clears throat> so yep. music in New England Northwest is obviously dealing with New England Northwest, but that <clears throat> in itself as an area is 99,000 square kilometres. And so yep. for Australians, mm. it's nothing to sit in the car and drive three hours somewhere to get no. <clears throat> somewhere. And in Europe, it's it's a little bit unthinkable. And the other thing is in Europe, the transport is just amazing, whether that's, yep. uh, you know, mm. you can ride your bike down the street or whether it's on trains or, or whatever. Mm. I mean, you're, mm. I didn't need a car where I was, but coming no. to Australia, that's really one of one of the main cultural things and logistics right. is that. And if they want people to come to yeah. the country, there has to be a lot of infrastructure. It's all very well to say, announce, look, we want you to come and live here. Medical, for example, yeah. is not good. Um, and transport. Yeah. Transport. I've noticed and, a lot um, yeah. growing up in this area in the 80s and the 90s. Yes, you did, and, yes. Um, coming back now, there's a massive difference So, in terms of the infrastructure for, for medical things. and Well, that's great. Yeah, it's, yeah, but I mean, it, it's also not that easy these days. I think it, it was a little bit better maybe ten years ago or something. Yeah, and I think you're probably right. Yeah, yes, it's yes. becoming sort I think of. You've got to just keep pushing. I've yeah. sort of stepped back a bit, and uh, but it's it's really important. We've got so much space. Mm. I mean, my kids are in Sydney, and I think mm, it's so depressing what you can get for you know six fifty for to um renting a one-bedroom unit in Waterloo. Yeah. I mean, people with young families, or they've got so much more freedom yes. and opportunities. Yeah. 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 So 
Yeah, that was part of my thing that, the, that we, it was regional infrastructure that we yeah. were building. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And you could have an orchestra, a professional orchestra, not yeah. just no, people. It's it is quite a, different. Yes. Quite different. Professional standard. And I think this is, mm. this is what we are about at the moment is really trying to highlight and showcase the professionalism of artists here because mm. they're not second rate. I mean, the no. good ones here are not second rate. They've had internet. Oh, not at all. No. Um, I, think I should send you a program and, and you'll see. We yeah. specifically made a program with the musicians, the instrumental paper, what they'd done yeah. to show yeah. what they had done, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah well. <laughs> And um, if there was anything in your area that you would like to see happen, what would that be? Oh, dear. People come to concerts. Students come to concerts. They, you know, $5 concerts and none of them come. <laughs> I think that's what um, a higher profile, I guess. Yeah. As I say, I've gone back a bit. Yeah. And, um, and, and what about sort of support that. from other um policy and organizational change to really push that i think that's oh yes important. and that's governmental government yeah. yeah i think that's what's missing um the support we, yeah i agree we because there is quite, a, yeah <laughs> there's a there's a there's a big push at the moment to get people out of cities into regional areas yes but yes. what governments really don't realize is it is the infrastructure but people need transport, they need medical, mm. they need educational facilities, but they need other right. venue infrastructure so that basically... Venues, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You've Active. hit the nail on the head. You know, as I said, it's all very well come out here. But, and we did, you know, um, get some grants, etc. But, you know, if I think of the opera in the paddock, the ticket price was half the price of what yeah. um, it yeah. cost. Yeah. Usually. And a lot of hard eye labour in that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to meet. Yeah, absolutely, Peter. I look forward to it. And yes. the other thing I wanted to ask you is, in your community, uh, do, uh, in your community, do you find that it's mostly women that are active in the organisation of? Oh, probably the so arts, or yes, it is probably, probably, and that's probably across the board. Um, we've got an estate, for, but that's diminished, you know, over the years. Whether it's cost, people can't learn. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, the drought affected your area quite severely. Oh, yes. We've had, I mean, this is amazing. We had three years mm. of drought. And people don't get the fact that if you have that sort of drought, mm. that means no farm roof. Yeah. That's what they don't put to do. Oh, the drought. Oh, the drought. Oh, yeah. terrible, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> They don't really, no. and there's sort of a lot of this happening in the media, but until people see mm. it for themselves, it doesn't really click, I think. I had it doesn't know, click, no. It doesn't, um, it's just no. all the drought, but it doesn't affect all the drought. Cases. Yes. And we I, had some friends, I think it was two years ago now, who came over for the gyra potato and lamb, and I said, well, why don't you come up there from Brisbane? And at that stage, gyra had quite good rain, mm. and they came to us. And they said, we were wondering, you know, that looks all right. And they said, oh, my God, you know, this was terrible. Yeah. So it's been very variable. Yeah. And I had a similar experience. I had musicians, uh, I think it was last, no, 2019. I had musicians come up from Sydney and the same thing. Mm. They sort of got out of the airport at Tamworth and they were just like, oh, my. <laughs> um, yes, exactly. So very surprised. Yeah. And we drove from Tamworth to Gunnedah and they couldn't believe it because there was zero water and it was just brown. Mm. Um, mm. I think until you see it and you're there. Um, yeah, that's right. It just um, goes on and on. These farmers, you know, they keep complaining, et cetera. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And in Europe, there's a lot more support for primary producers. There are of course, there's more subsidy. Yes, of course. And look, we're very efficient. We don't see, you know, um, subsidies at all. We've got to compete on the world market. That's what we've got to do. How do you think the arts and culture assisted the community during COVID-19, if at all? Well, I don't think it did. Okay. Everything stopped. Yeah. Everything stopped. And I really, that's a really big problem because you know, people, if they're on contract, <clears throat> they were fine. But like the opera company, they've laid off a lot of people. 
And one of the agents, Jim, I was talking to, she just said, she's just going to take the news. Yeah. Because there's no support. And yeah, that's the problem, right? Disaster. It's like the tourism. It's um, yeah. disaster. Who'd have thunk that we'd have a pandemic? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crazy. It's mm. pretty interesting. But do you think people in your community missed it when it wasn't there? <laughs> So I'll let you know we've got this concert in the town hall on the 1st of May. Yes. And I'm, you know, I started, I mean, we kept practicing a bit, you know, through it all and did more piano. And then I thought, oh, I've got to get out of this COVID stupid because <laughs> I'm going to perform and I'm going to memorise it. Ah. Yeah. So that's been good. It's been good for me. And I've enjoyed getting back into singing. Yeah. Really enjoyed that. So I hope people will enjoy that. Surely they would be starved for something to go to yeah. and it's a black tie night and everything. it's a bit of an occasion oh yes <laughs> three good. dinner drinks yeah <laughs> very good sounds very yeah. good. and are you are you hosting the event yourself or is that through Opera another northwest event? isn't no it's the Inverell music appreciation society Wonderful. that have been going here for a number of years mm -hmm. uh so they asked me last year and we we're going to do it mm -hmm. so this year we will do it Wonderful. Fingers so, crossed, I suppose. Yeah, great. So I'll definitely have to pop out to Inverell sometime. Yes, you must. And can you tell us about your time in London? Where did you uh, time in London? Oh, it was great. I mean, hard, you know, hard when you go from Brisbane back in the late 70s, yeah. really. In the and, and then I sort of felt I had limited time to get back to Australia. But I, I made some great... Um, contacts there and I didn't have the work permit to stay there yeah. which was a shame because at the end of the opera course I could I was offered some work but yeah you know as when you're getting out of college it's I was 25 yeah so if that was a shame but I, I did some work with Australia which was great you know yeah. Papagena mm. um worked with Challenger and Simone and yeah. um Really, some exciting stuff. Actually, mm. it didn't. It could have continued, but there again, that's probably the female thing. Actually, yes, you, they're forever looking for the next young and up and coming. Yeah. So, therefore, if you're doing small parts and understudies and that sort of thing, uh, if you, they put you on a, as a principal, you cost more than the one just coming along. Mm. So, and I think that is also going to be a big problem with the COVID because so many artists have been suspended. Yeah. And then you've got those waiting in the wings, the next slot coming along. So I think it's going to be very difficult for people. I'd hate to be in that scene now. Yeah. I don't miss that scene. Yeah, no. But I think there will be a lot of competition when things start back up. That's what I mean. A lot of competition. Because and you've got the people. There's so many people, so many venues and organisations that just don't have the money at the moment. So mm. the problem is you have the younger people coming through plus the people who have missed work for two years probably. That's now. right. That's so, right. So I don't know how that's all going to pan out. Yeah. It's all right if you're an international star, but I don't know how that goes. Yeah, but it's the, the same. Younger with, people. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think that's the same with everything at the moment. With the pandemic, it was it's fine if you're a big chain store or a big superstar. Yes. Or yes. you're young and just starting, sort of a startup or a, a, an emerging, yes. emerging artist. But sort of all of the people in between, the small businesses or the freelance artists, mm. I think they're the ones that um, are... It's a really hard. It's hard. Yeah. Mm. Interesting. Oh, so did you have any final comments? Uh, to no, I think I've said as much intelligent stuff <laughs> as I can manage to know. <laughs> but I look forward to meeting because yeah, I think definitely. It probably work. Absolutely. Um, yeah, let's sort something out. Maybe the structure. Yeah, let's sort something out. It's in, a, in abeyance. Let's see abeyance. what happens. <laughs> yeah, let's see what let's. Um, and congratulations on what you're doing. Oh, thanks. Great. Yeah, you have to do something. Because we've got to keep doing it. We've got to keep throwing mud. Some of it might stick. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, it's great to talk to you. It's great to talk to you, Peter.